Hello everyone, I'm Stan Larocque, founder of Lynx, and welcome back once again to Paris in our office. I hope you can hear me all right, and let's dive right in in the update for today. So we have many things to cover. I will forget probably half of it. So this is why at the end of this session, there will be a, a Q&A where in the chat you can ask questions and I will be happy to, to answer uh, anything regarding the, the project. So if you followed us in the last three weeks, you've seen that we announced that we are shifting towards consumers. So the headset now is both for businesses and consumers. Um, with that moved, we of course work on the price of the headset and uh, the price will be, will be disclosed in a few weeks. We have a price, we are just making sure that all the partners agree. Uh, and we are going to release the price alongside, alongside some demos. Uh, I'm going to show you today some footage, preview of some features directly through the headset and try to answer what we've seen from the community, like the thousands of feedback we've seen online in the past few weeks. Um, to be honest, it was very intense. It's a huge bet for my company, for my team here uh, at Lynx. We are very happy so far with the reaction of the community. We, we did not expect that much to be, to be honest. So it's a good surprise for now. And we are looking forward now to the Kickstarter in September. Um, the 15 of us are, are working full time for, uh, you know, the, the video, the demos, the, the games we're going to, to, to showcase and to, to direct with the, the developers to, to work on links uh, and also all the partners that are supporting us all the developers that reach out to us and uh, we're I, I feel very fortunate and uh, I feel that people were waiting for exactly the thing we are doing you know with a VR headset that is on par with the current hardware but is also doing more especially on augmented reality and we are going to, to dive right in the first thing we've read from the community is the question of the controllers, uh, six DOF controllers to be, to be precise. And that's true that for gaming or entertainment, you absolutely need controllers because the content was, was built with this input in mind. And remember when we started Lynx, uh, this is our crazy lens, we're going to talk about that later, but when we started Lynx, it was enterprise first headset. And uh, so the input method was preferred to be hand tracking because we expected people to work with the headset on, so they, needs to, they, they needed to be hands free, uh, so no controllers, and, and we focus more on hand tracking. Uh, but right now we are also working on the controller stuff, and we have results already uh, with uh, Finch. Um, I tested the Finch controllers with the update they provided, and the work might team uh, has been doing. I tested them myself so I can look at you in the eyes right now and tell you it's working great. It's it's like very good 6 dof controllers and uh, I will show you a picture of that uh, as well as uh, some footage. Uh, so the, wait, the first, uh, first picture for today. So this is our, uh, <laughs> this is Corentin, our optical engineer testing the the thing, uh, so you can see in his hands, two Finch controllers um, and the Lynx headset on his head. You can see the cool thing is that the, the new iteration of the optics and, and the mechanical mount let you use your glasses in AR or uh, VR. And I'm going to, to talk about that uh, just after I show you some, some footage of the, the demo. So this is, the, this is some controllers from the, uh, a third party, so Finch, that, that is uh, working with us. Uh, and, and other headsets as well. Um, let me let me put you some video.
Um, that was the, the first footage. Um, and th th there is no drifting with the controllers. They are working great, and we are uh, right now working to combine visual information of the, the AR cameras that are dedicated for hand tracking to mix with the with the analog input from the IMUs of the of the controller. Sorry, so we mixed optical and uh, um, IMU information to have something that is not drifting, and you won't need the the harm bend. So b before that, the Finch. Controllers needed the harm bend, and we we removed that completely. So that's also you know working for the the price of the of the controllers. Um, okay, moving on. Um, please ask any question you might have uh, in the chat. I will review that after. Um, oh yeah. Um, sorry, this slide is not working. So also on day one, we want to have a, a brother working, a brother working for the for the headset, and we are targeting our our efforts to support the Mozilla Firefox uh, brother for WebXR experiences in uh, in Lynx. So you should expect on day one with the headset, a uh, fully WebXR compliant. Um, uh, platform which is based on uh, Firefox Reality, so we like that because it's open source. Uh, it's it's easy to to build. Uh, so we are mixing their their the Firefox with our input methods uh, right now with the the Qualcomm SDK and the inputs we we have today. Um, so so far so good. Uh, we had a lot of requests from web developers to be able to develop on the platform and not only you know people from the unity or unreal environments so about the sdk other or other big news today if you want access to the sdk there is a form in the description of the video you can fill that form and we will reach out to you to send you a, a, a private a private git repository with the sdk that we have today a quick comment on that. Our SDK is uh, switching from uh, something that was not OpenXR and, and Qualcomm APIs to something that will be OpenXR compliant in Q4 this year. So my best advice to you if you're a developer would be to integrate the Ultralip Gemini tracking so you can download their assets for Unity today for free on their website. And if you develop your app with the, the hand tracking uh, they provide, uh, you should be compatible in less than 24 hours uh, with, with, with links after that, because we the input method today is hand tracking. And if you want to, to build an app for links, that would be the way to go. But keep in mind that we, are, we will also have controllers. But what you have to remember is OpenXR is coming in, in Q4 uh, for us this year. So I might want you to see some footage of links. Uh, so we are building a, we are building a, an app um, that will be also open source. Uh, that is a, a game for mixed reality. So links can do pretty much what the Quest, for example, can do today or the Vive from a HTC. But we also want to showcase things you can do with links that you cannot do with this uh, this other hardware, especially regarding augmented reality. So we built a game for outdoor use with the headset. Um, I, I'm going to show you the first seconds of the demo. We are going to discuss about that. But right now the team is preparing this demo for the Kickstarter, but also for the developers to have a like a skeleton app to 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 work on. So let me let me share with you uh, this. Uh, this th th those are the first second. We call this demo L L Lux. It's the name of the creature creature we we design. Uh, you will you will understand why.
Okay, so this was the first footage of an outdoor use of the Lynx headset. So what you've seen, and you can, you, you can replay all you want, of course, is there is like a Pokemon Go style creature, a, a Lynx, uh, that we, we designed that is coming uh, on the ground. You can see his shadow, you can see the plane detection working. <laughs> you can see the, the shadow of the engineer that recorded the demo with the headset on his head, actually, uh, Jofra. Uh, and um, you can see this portal that is that is showing up and the rest of the demo will be going into this portal and we will see how we are changing from AR into VR and you know all the way back and, and all that and you know with hand tracking you can you can pet the creature it can react to your gestures uh, it can react to the environment to the lightning it's great. I can't wait to show you the rest. You just have to give us a little more time so we, we finish and polish everything. But we wanted to show you this, this first uh, footage. Um, all right. So one of the questions also we had was, how can you pull that off? Uh, you are a 15 person company. If we get some funding from the Kickstarter, how will we be able to to build the headset? And that's a great question, uh, and I'm I'm trying to answer that with the the next slide. So you have to keep in mind that we are not only 15 people, but we are 15 people with all the partners we have, and we have very big partners. Uh, the first one is Qualcomm, but the the manufacturer of the headset will be Compal. You might not know this company. Uh, you can Google them, compile the, the, the last one on, on the slide. And they are the second biggest OEM, like manufacturer of electronics in the world. They're making things like the Apple Watch or I think they're building more than one or two billion computers a year. So they know what they're doing, you know, when it comes to electronics. And we, thanks to working with Qualcomm, we were able to secure, um, uh, you know, like a, a production line with them. And once the Kickstarter is done, we would be able to, to start right away with them. And, and, and trust me, they, they're Taiwanese manufacturers. They know what they're doing. The, the quality is incredible. We've been working with them for 18 months now uh, to prepare you know, the, the production of the headset. Uh, so we, we have very, very solid partners. You can see also some of the software partners we have. Ultralip is the hand tracking. Libback is the optics. And NVIDIA, I'm going to, to show you something else. Uh, that slide just doesn't want to work today. It's all right, but it was a slide about OpenXR. Um, we 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 want to move to the to OpenXR because it will allow us to unify the runtime for Unity, Unreal Engine, uh, Steam VR as well. So on day one, again, you should be able to play all your content that you bought on Steam VR on the Lynx headset. Uh, and 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 we're we have a, our system engineers working with that, and we're discussing with people at Valve on the Steam VR team, and to make sure that when when the runtime, when the OpenXR runtime will be ready, that it should be easy to to ac access uh, content from them. Um, so you will be able to to uh, use links from your computer either with Wi-Fi over Wi-Fi or over a USB-C cable. Um, that's, I think that's important to, to mention. Okay. Um, so uh, the next thing would be going straight to the Q&A, uh, but uh, I wanted to address one more thing before. Um, I have two headsets uh, next to me and um, people were afraid that there might be some light leakage from the side of the headset when you're wearing it. And we completely forget to tell you about this piece. So we we will uh, we will provide a VR VR uh, foam pad so you can use you know to for only VR scenarios with the headset. So there is no light leakage when you play a game or watch a movie with the with the headset. So this this tiny VR foam is uh, the the default for the base model. But there will be one for uh, glasses. So if you want, if you wear glasses, you you will have a, a bigger one where you will be able to to slide your your glass your glasses uh, on the sides. Um, and uh, 
yeah, in the same time we're working, you know, with the, the comfort of the headsets and, uh, you know, not try to irritate your, your skin with the material we are choosing. And that's, a, you know, that's a difficult job. Um, but don't worry for the VR only part of the headset. You will be able to, uh, to put that with magnets uh, on the headset. It's all black and the interior of the headset will be all black color uh, materials, so there won't be any light coming except from the display itself. Um, all right, so this is, I think uh, we have it covered. Um, we, so about the, the new iteration of the, of the lenses, I can show them again. Oh, so this, is the, this is the prism. This is, this is the side where you, your eye is looking, and this is the, the side of the, of the display. Uh, so this crazy lens uh, now has a bigger eye box and we have the same pixel per degree than the Quest 2 and the same horizontal field of view. Uh, this, is, uh, this is also important. So not only we're doing kind of the same thing of what the competition is doing out there, but we are also doing more with AR and, and mixed reality. And uh, you're going to experience that uh, with the the demos we we have uh, coming up in August, with the announce of the of the price for the early birds in the in the Kickstarter, um, so I talk way too much, and uh, I think we are going to go straight to the Q and A. Um, so. so I'm just scrolling through your. Questions, okay? Give me a bit of time. What what will the IPD range will be? So the IPD will be fifty six millimeter up to seventy two millimeters, and you are able to move the lenses uh, separately. So if you only need the left eye to be a bit more afar, you can you can do things like like this. Um, Okay, next questions. Oh yeah, when I switched scenes to VLC, my mic was lost. I'm sorry, I was just discussing that I, I, I thought that the, the controller experience I tested was, was good, you know, from a consumer point of view. Um, how will games and apps will be sold on the headset? Will you develop a store when you can apply to? So that's a that's a good question. You know, like the content distribution on on the links. There are two options here. The first one is we develop our, our store ourselves. Uh, that that's that's something we can completely do. And the second option we have uh, on the table, uh, we are discussing with the the team at uh, SideQuest. So right now those are just uh, preliminary discussions. Uh, we want them to test the headsets um, at, at the end of August and, and try to, you know, to reach a, a roadmap together. But that could be interesting if uh, SideQuest uh, was providing the, the store mechanism for, for Lynx. They have a huge experience. They have a great community and great uh, developers uh, with them. Uh, we could, I, I'm talking for Lynx, you know, we could leverage their uh, expertise uh, for that. Uh, so that, that's one of the discussion we are having. Um, there is not a lot more to be said on that side. You know, it's work in progress. Uh, what's the field of view of the links? The field of view is a circle of 90 degrees. So 90 degrees horizontal, 90 degrees vertical. And that's like a full circle. Um, so 90 degrees uh, diagonal too, and uh, you know the resolution is uh, 1600 by 1600. Um, so you can calculate the pixel per degree. Then. Can you use APU processors? Uh, we don't use APU processors. We use the Qualcomm XR2, and inside the Qualcomm XR2, you have uh, you have CPUs, you have a big GPU, and you have some DSPs that we use for some algorithm. Our goal is to have most of the built-in algorithm like hand tracking, 6 duff and all that built uh, into the DSP for power usage and also give a lot of room for the developers uh, to, you know, to leverage the GPU and the CPU. All right. 
Are you planning on including the controllers in the box or at least giving an addition that does so? I'm business use, so I don't care about included controllers, but consumers will. Uh, yeah, I, th I, think, I think we'll have to include uh, for the consumer uh, a bundle with the controllers. Uh, again, uh, I'll have to discuss with, with Finch and um, other third parties about that, but, but that's, you know, uh, we are targeting consumers. Everyone is expecting controllers, so they will be in the box. Yeah, I'm, I, I will work towards that, that goal. Yeah. Is it me or does it look like light pollution will be a problem? I think I answered your question with that piece of both here. Okay, Firefox, let us add ad blocker. <laughs> yeah, no ads in links. They, they, I don't want ads. I don't want any kind of weird social login or you know what, what I'm talking about, right? Um, okay, let's go through your question. Oh, the form is restricted. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to open the form uh, after the, the end of the video. Sorry, guys. Um, so the controllers include two buttons, a trigger, and um, for the joystick, I don't know if it's touchpad or a joystick yet. Uh, I, I don't have a, uh, a lot of, um, of uh, vision on, on that yet. Um, I would take a VR third as long as it was Zuckerberg free. Not saying this is a third, by the way. Looking forward to getting one of your one of these. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> uh, outdoor use, yes, completely. This is why we built. Do the prism not cook the screen if in if in sunlight? So the prism, the the the, the lenses are basically. Uh, they, they also have a magnifying factor. Uh, you know these these optics. So. They could act as uh, something to burn the displays if you would apply a lot of light through, through them. But hopefully when you're wearing the headset, your head is blocking a lot of incoming lights. So you might have some lights coming from the, you know, like uh, artificial lights in the office or a, a little bit of the sun. But uh, with the with the uh, Brian's we did, we, we never experienced such problems. Uh, your head is a big object in front of the of the lens, so yeah, it it will come between the sun and 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 the lens. Great shadows, thanks. the the shadow The shadow stuff for MR uh, on the transparent plane was a a bit of a pain for the software engineers that work on that. Trust me, but uh, we got it working, and uh, we, we will continue to to work on them on this you know light estimation things for, to have the shadow even more realistic. Okay, also, how good is the microphone on the headset? So there are uh, four microphones located at the bottom of the headset for noise cancellation and w when you want to, to do some voice comments. Uh, so I, I'll say it's uh, working well. We also have two uh, output audio uh, stuff near your ears for the audio. If Qualcomm is providing the compute, what is NVIDIA doing? Uh, so, so this was the slide that was not working. NVIDIA is providing something called Cloud XR, and you can Google that Cloud XR, and um, it's a piece of software where uh, they're bridging uh, the, the GPU compute power you have with your NVIDIA GPU uh, if you want to stream to a headset. So it can work with your local GPU or a GPU in the cloud, and they are streaming frames directly to the headset with Wi-Fi or, or 5G. So they're, they were working with them um, for, for, for that. Uh, okay. Will the USB-C be more than one meter long? Uh, it will depend on how the Kickstarter goes, okay? The, the length of the USB cable. Um, can I wash the padding on the headset? Yes, you can put it in your washing machine and uh, it, will, it will wash all your wet. Um, Unreal SDK, uh, Unreal uh, Unreal Engine SDK will come when we'll have the OpenXR runtime working. So again, this is something that is coming in Q4 this year. So end of the year, we, we will we will uh, work on that. I love how open you are with this project. Thanks. 
Will the will Quest 2 games be ported over to Lynx R1, including Resident Evil 4 VR? Uh, this is entirely up to the developers. So this is a discussion we're already having with some developers that have some Quest uh, content. Uh, but that's that's uh, my my job is just to give them uh, you know cool hardware that they want to 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 use and uh, uh, an ecosystem where they think they can get revenue from that. And hopefully it will work. But uh, will the links will be available in all the countries? Uh, we are doing certification for US, Europe, uh, Australia, um, Japan, Korea, um, Canada, uh, and, and then again, depending on how the Kickstarter goes, we will open more and more countries because what is blocking us is not the shipping cost but the certification cost, depending on on the countries. When will the Kickstarter be launched? Did I miss that? No, you did not miss that. The Kickstarter will be launched uh, beginning of September. If you want to stay updated with our campaign, I advise you to just put your email in the in the website, linksr.com, uh, and uh, we will email you uh, things about the, the, the Kickstarter. I promise not not any any spam, just things about the campaign and, and the headset. Will there be exclusive games only for Lynx R1? So the Lynx R1 has unique capabilities. So of course, we're going to see things that are going to be exclusive for the headset. I'm not saying more, but be prepared. Uh, is it possible to do an internship at Lynx? Yes. Will Lynx have Linux support? So basically Lynx is running on Android. So when you look at Android, it's Linux. Um, at the bottom of it, um, but we are running a vanilla version of uh, Android, so no Google layer, no tracking of anything. Uh, we are building, we are building the operating system at Lynx uh, on the on the build server here, uh, and we we see everything that goes in the image, and we will will be able to, you know, to deliver like pre-installed apps and uh, and all that. We control uh, everything, even the boot logos. So. I'm very happy with that situation. Uh, there is any comfort issue using the headphones with the links. Um, so if you use big headphones, maybe you might run into some issues. I don't, I don't really know. But if you use, you know, like small headphones, definitely not. But uh, that's that's honestly something we haven't tried too much yet. Um, will links have Atari Lynx support? Great one. No. Will it be available worldwide? I answered that. Or oh, precise it is the environment tracking and the hands tracking. The hands tracking will be the best uh, out there. Uh, it will be amazing. For the environment, because it's uh, it's using the Ultra Leap uh, Gemini tracking, and we are working. We've been working with them for a year to have that running on on our Android system and to optimize all that. And they're doing a great job. So the head. I think I can vouch for them saying that the hand tracking on links will be amazing. The environment tracking, so the, the six dot algorithm will, uh, will be good as well. We are measuring how good it is. So we're using the, the, the robot arm for that and we'll have, uh, we, we will share that with you. How many arts are you trying to do? Uh, I think you're asking about the frame rate. So the frame rate of the headset is 90, 90, frames, per, 90, 90 frames per second. And uh, the, the cameras for pass-through are uh, at the same frame rate and they're synchronized with, with, with the display, not to miss uh, any frame in the process. Is Lynx right to repair friendly if a screen or other part breaks? Yes, we will give you uh, everything you need uh, to to open the headsets, uh, it's uh, you know it's electronic, so you might break some stuff if you're not doing things right. But we will uh, uh, show people how, what they will need to 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 do to change a, a screen, and we will try to ship repairment uh, uh, pieces like the optical blocks. But of course, I'm hoping that nothing will break. But okay. Uh... How well does the environment tracking work with irregular objects like foliage? Uh, we haven't tried foliage yet. We'll keep you informed because we're we're going to do some demo in a in a forest in a, in August. 
Are you building your own occlusion technology in your SDK or are you using some existing frameworks to calculate occlusion between the two cameras or whatever? You will be able to use uh, an occlusion. I mean, you, you can get a depth estimation from the two RGB cameras, but it's better if you use the, the monochrome cameras. They are really optimized for that. They are further apart from the, um, you know, from like the baseline is bigger between those two cameras. So you, you will have a better depth depth estimation. And we're using uh, Qualcomm APAs for that. Uh, Qualcomm already has a, uh, uh, already has software for that that is optimized on the DSP and it's uh, running pretty well. Uh, we'll show some scan of the the the, the office that we've done with that. Um, can people wearing glasses wear the headset without scratching the lens, the the glass or the lens? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the 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 lens the lens is covered in a in a in a plastic piece that is protecting it, the the edges, so there won't be any conflict with with your glasses. Uh, India availability. We're working on that. Uh, we we just learned that there is a a, a huge demand in India, uh, so we are we are working on that. All right, uh, lots of questions today. Um, I hope you I hope you enjoy the stream. Uh, we are. Um, did you answer the price question? So the price uh, the price will be announced the third week of August. We are targeting the, the end of the third week of August to, to, to share the price with uh, everybody. Um, and um, yeah, it will be, it will be quite uh, amazing, I think. Uh, and uh, we, we, as I told you, we want to, to make this as affordable as possible to uh, have as many people as we can uh, use the headset. So uh, how would the product be provided in store? So it will be uh, either through the Kickstarter, I advise you to go for the Kickstarter because it will be cheaper for you than the product we will sell uh, in 2022. Uh, so if you want a price on that, best way is to go for the Kickstarter. And after that, it will be available through our website and through some distributors, depending on the country you, you will be. Okay, uh, the suspense is killing me, me too. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge bet. Um, you know, again, to, to be transparent, it's a huge bet we are making. It's a very difficult space. The, the mixed reality, you know, the AR, VR ecosystem is moving really fast. There is a lot of consolidation in this space right now. Um, hopefully, hopefully, Lynx will uh, emerge as a, as a pure player uh, in hardware and software. We want to be like a, a product company to own the, the full uh, chain of the, of the product to have something independent. Uh, but uh, who knows? Again, uh, now it's tied to the Kickstarter campaign and to the interest that we we bring, uh, you know. And, and we we need to bring new people uh, into this space. And I'm I'm counting on, on you to to pass the word to to your friends. Um, how many pieces will pro will you produce in the first batch? Again, it's only dependent on the Kickstarter. What, what, you know what's great about the Kickstarter and why we did that is because it will allow us to pinpoint a, a precise number of orders for the first batch. Uh, you know, instead of ordering more than what we, we need or, you know, worse, ordering less uh, hardware than what we need to, to manufacture. So the, the Kickstarter is great for that. Okay. Um, so... Where can I get FinShift? Uh, you can go on their website or you can contact them. Uh, we are working with, with, with their latest uh, hardware and we're going to, to show you more demos with the controllers. So expect the next demo, you know, like the one we show with the, the Lynx uh, animal, expect it to be a demo where we will uh, showcase 6 dof hand tracking, VR, AR, occlusion, shadows, you know, like, when you look at the AR headset out there, like the HoloLens or the Magic Leap, they cannot do shadows and they barely work outside. So, you know, we're really bringing something on the table here and uh, I hope developers and, and, and the users will take advantage of that to experience new games. Um, okay, so thank you. Thank you, everyone. I think we, we are done for uh, tonight. I hope you appreciated the answer we we, I try to, to bring on the table. We are working 100% towards shipping this device with 
all the software that is also needed for the community to experience uh, a, a lot of uh, games on day one and a lot of content. Uh, it's it's huge. Uh, the price is going to be, uh, you know, amazing. Uh, the demos that we are going to show are going to be amazing. We invite. Uh, we invited some people to try the headset, uh, some familiar faces that you know on YouTube, for example, uh, at the end of August and beginning of September. Um, if you want to try the headset for yourself, feel free to contact me and uh, we can organize something in Paris. For now, it's, too, it's hard for us to ship a headset outside because the engineers here need, need a headset, so uh, I don't want to fight with them over that. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm... I'm you know, I'm I'm excited about uh, the coming weeks and uh, where this is uh, where this is headed. So I'm very thankful for all the support. Uh, I hope we 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 can make it. Uh, we can uh, we we can have a great uh, Kickstarter and th this product uh, is going to to ship in uh, 2022. I'm hopeful. I'm, I've been working for years now for that. This is my dream, uh, and uh, uh, it's uh, it's real. So I'm I'm just uh, so thankful. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice evening and uh, see you soon uh, online.